Hey guys, I want to try something a little different today. Um, I got some downtime between projects and I just wanted to check out some different tools, ways to improve my workflow when making NES games. And one of the things I came across was this extension called Alchemy 65, um, which as you can see here is a VS Code extension, which adds syntax highlighting and debugger support for both CC65 and CA65 which if you don't know, CC65 is a C compiler for the 6502 and CA65 is kind of the sister assembler for the 6502. Um, in addition to that, it's integrated with Messin or rather depends on Messin, but that's the emulator I use for 99% of my development. So that seems like a perfect fit for my workflow. So I've been playing around with it a bit, checking it out, and I thought I'd share what I found so far. Um, so if we hop into Messin for a second, hopefully you're somewhat familiar with this. This is where I traditionally do all my debugging. Uh, I write all my code in C. So you can see I'm in a C file here. I got a uh, debugger. I'm already on a breakpoint. I can step through code. I can look at stuff in the watch window. I got my breakpoints, my uh, call stack, labels, all sorts of stuff. Um, so this is great. I think it's an amazing debugger, quite impressive. The one thing that trips me up a little bit is when I'm debugging, I'll often find the problem, which is the point of debugging. Uh, and then I'll say, oh, okay, I need to change this variable. Um, but I can't because in Messin, the code is read only. So what you end up having to do is hop over to your text editor, try to find out where you were, remember what you're trying to change, cross-reference Messin, and hopefully make the change build, run, and uh, see if it fixed the issue. So it's not the end of the world, but it's definitely room for improvement there. So um, this built-in Visual Studio debugger, um, very similar in all the ways I just talked about, but the one thing it does allow is I can go, oh, this is wrong, I can change this right here while I'm debugging. So that's really cool. So um, I thought I'd just, yeah, let me give you a quick demo. Let me close uh, Messin and all that. So yeah, I can just put a breakpoint. Uh, just like you would in kind of a traditional C program. Uh, works both with C and um, and assembly. So I can put this breakpoint here. I just hit F5, runs the game, kicks, uh, kicks off Messin, and you can see I'm hitting my breakpoints now. So I think uh, that's the assembly one. So you can see I'm at that line here, get rid of that. Hit F5 again, I should hit that other breakpoint, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I hit my next breakpoint. Um, on the left here, I got my watch window, as you would expect, my call stack, breakpoint window, and then up here I can see the registers by looking under the CPU variables. And then I think this has all my globals, which is probably massive. Yeah. Um, so pretty cool. Um, that's kind of a quick overview of how it works. Everything kind of functions as you expect. Step over, step into, um, you can step from C into assembly and back again. It's quite seamless, really nicely done. Um, so I'll just show you real quick how to set it up. It's super easy. In the extensions tab of Visual Studio Code, you just search for Alchemy 65 should be there. Uh, obviously I have it installed already. So you just click install. That's 90% of the work done. Uh, the one thing you have to do is open the launch JSON, which if I remember correctly, it does for you. There's these four lines, which um, point the extension to where your ROM is, where your debug information is, where your emulator is, and where the source code is. The emulator is an interesting point. Although it use, uses Messin, it uses a, um, a special branch of Messin by Nova Squirrel called uh, Messin X, which adds a bunch of stuff. But the one thing it adds that's relevant to us is support for external debuggers, which obviously Alchemy 65 is an external debugger. So it depends on that. So regular Messin won't work. Messin X will. And from what I can tell, Messin X is only additive. It's, um, it's basically vanilla Messin with more stuff in it. So yeah, no problems with it so far. Um, the the one thing I should note maybe uh, which tripped me up a little bit is you should make sure that you're fully uh, your project can be debugged in Messin before you try to get it 
working with Alchemy 65. So you should be able to place breakpoints, step through code, add watches, all that stuff. So because Alchemy 65 depends on all of that kind of working. And yeah, if that doesn't work in Messin, it's not going to work in Visual Studio. So I had some problems with that. I got all that working. And then as soon as that worked, Alchemy 65 uh, kicked in, which is awesome. So yeah, really cool so far. Really happy with it. There's a couple downsides. So if I run again, I'll just show you real quick. Um, so if we're in the debugger, the, the biggest issue is the call stack. So um, it only shows the function you're in right now. So it's not really a call stack at all. Um, it just shows where you are, which isn't super useful. You usually know where you are. It's how you got here that's important. So that's a pretty big issue for me. It's kind of a deal breaker at this point. But uh, speaking with the developer, they seem to think there's some uh, some ways they can address the issue. Um, I, Based on what they've done so far, I have no doubt that they'll figure it out. Um, so that's, that's the only really kind of big, big issue for me. The watch window is a little hard to use. I don't know if this is just a Visual Studio Code thing, but um, the way it displays the, the values for everything is not super intuitive. It'd be nice if it could figure out, um, like for example, that tix8 is an unsigned char, so it doesn't need to show two bytes. Um, so a little stuff like that, but that's pretty minor. Uh, the watch window in Messin isn't uh, perfect either, so I kind of give that one a pass. Um, I haven't looked into it too much, but I believe it also, and I can't remember how much of it, it affects. It's probably just the call stack. Um, I don't think that works across banks, um, but I haven't really looked into it yet. So anyway, maybe ignore that. Uh, so anyway, that's a quick overview of Alchemy 65. Um, as I showed, super easy to set up, super easy to test. If you're already using CC65 and CA65, it, it's like a few minutes work to get up and running. So highly recommend checking it out. Thanks.